the scene of the fight. Look at the mist in the air. And I think it's time for a werewolf brawl. <gasps> Oh, look at him go! Bye. All right, everyone. Welcome back to some more Werewolves. Welcome back to this nonsense a little group hole going on there. I'm sorry it's been a little while since I've recorded. Obviously, the game kind of broke, which was not ideal. It broke with the update. It was deleting, like, a bunch of people's, like, saves were getting corrupted. Everybody was, like, getting aged up. And basically, it was just causing a bad time. I also know the high school park, there's some additional things that have broken and stuff as well, so I haven't installed that yet. I'm just waiting for everything to get fixed. And also, genuinely, it's been nice not being in this chair because this chair is ruining my poor pregnant back. I think actually a lot of it's to do with the fact that Evie still has to sit behind me. I've also had just like a few extra tests in hospital. There was a few things that were like cropping up and I changed some meds and stuff. So basically I've been having a few bits going on in my personal life as well, but I was kind of missing playing these guys. So I thought we would head back into werewolves today with our little howling babies. Oh, and what happens when you have two parents, by the way, that are going like full berserk mode. This makes me worry about werewolves' parents. Genuinely, it does a little bit. But I was looking at the calendar and in two days time, on Tuesday, it's going to be these guys' little birthday. And not only were they born on a full moon, they're also going to be aging up on... Wait, no, that's not a full moon. That's the opposite of full moon, Claire. They're going to be aging up on a new moon. So I thought that was kind of cool. However, right now I need to get everybody into bed. I also know somebody's got a stinky diaper. It's you. This one has a stinky diaper. Oh my gosh, rain just went catapulting by. Can we change the diaper before we transform, please? Thank you. And wait a minute. How did I get 12,000 pounds? Did that happen last episode? Why can't I remember what I did to cause that to happen? I genuinely cannot remember what caused that. What's... Oh, that's worrying, isn't it? And our oh, water's been shut down. Amazing. But hey, I'm not going to turn down 12,000 pounds. So that's pretty amazing. Let's get all these Barbies into bed because I feel like you guys are about to go like howling at the moon and just bed genuinely being quite chaotic. So let's at least get the kids in bed before that happens. But let's not have a conversation with them. Let's not be checking them. Let's just be changing diapers and getting on with it, you know? Let's be in control of the toddlers instead of the toddlers being in control of us. Maybe let's do a little somber howl. And you're already feeling sad. Everyone's feeling sad because, of course, we finished our Not So Berry Challenge, which men that live died, which means that everyone is feeling real sad. Why does nobody do what I tell them to do? Literally, nobody does. You're going to bed on your own. Like Aeon, you are, I can still remember how to pronounce his name, by the way. You are just a good googie egg. This is genuinely what I need right now. Kids to behave like you. This is incredibly good behavior. Let's tuck you into bed and let's get everybody else in bed, please. Ace ups, ace ups. This is the thing. Sims just stare at each other. They don't do anything. So now my toddler's still outside with a stink diaper, just completely ignoring my intentions to put her to bed. <laughs> is it because you want rain to tuck you in instead of Luna? Is that what's going on here? Why have... Oh my gosh, nobody's putting any of the children into bed that I'm telling them to. Like, on the one hand, I'm like, this game is so broken. But on the other hand, I'm like, toddlers are like this. This is actually just all very normal. I can't even get mad. This is how toddlers are. I need to get used to this. Genuinely, I do. Luna, I've made you do a somber howl, but you still seem to be just struggling a little bit. So I'm actually just going to go send you... Go hunting, babes. Forget the toddlers. Go hunting because you're being useless. I love you, but you are just being a, a trash person right now. And I think running in the wild will help you out. And then we'll have breakfast for tomorrow. I'm winning two things at once. I'm going to use some of that £12,000 to help maybe expand and also decorate the house because we're about to have three little wolfies that are going to go from toddler wolfies to child wolfies, which means I'm going to need a little bit more room. I'm going to need a little bit more furniture. That £12,000, I wish I knew where it come from. I wish it was like the old games where you could click the money and it would tell you your ingoings and outgoings and where everything came from because that would be super useful oh my gosh how did the child just fly into his arms what kind of powers do you behold what the hell mama's back with foodies that's what we love to see let's stick it all in here uh, let's see if we can't calm rain down a little bit as well he's moving so fast everywhere he's like zooming around yeah let's pacify him a little bit shall we look he's, he's too fast He's moving at the speed of light. He's super calm now. That was a good pacifier. Let's let's change out of wolfy form, okay? We do occasionally be in wolf form. It's a good way for like to not scare the toddlers, especially since they are gonna have their own wolf form soon. So they kind of need to. Oh my gosh, I've forgotten how to make him not be a wolf. Why is he trapped in wolf? Form. Genuinely, where is the option? Am I missing something? Am I being dumb? Is he just stuck as a wolf? Why can't I make him not be a wolf? 
Look, she has trans- Oh, maybe he can't. Maybe he's not mastered transformation yet. But he's also not rampaging. So like, okay, he's stuck as a wolf. Cool. Yeah, I need to get the toddlers used to that, like, appearance and let them know that it's normal sometimes to be really hairy and have long teeth. Okay, so finally at 5am, I've got everyone into bed having themselves a little sleep. How much of a lion will the toddlers give us? Let's find out. They might be kind to us today. The sim gods may shine upon us. It is for... Oh, no, no. 6.18. Like, Aeon is up and he's very hungry and he's going to be wanting to go wake somebody up. I'm going to see if I can beat him to it and go in here and look. Oh, no. You don't like me. So Lycaon is a dormant werewolf. He's not like, he's a valid and legit werewolf, but he's also not a full on werewolf. And as a result, he does not have werewolf form and he doesn't like werewolf customs, such as eating a slab of raw meat. So because of that, I have nothing to feed him with. Like everyone else is waking up and I can feed them, but I can't feed him because he doesn't like it. He's like, why is this meat raw? That's so gross. I kind of totally agree with him. I'm not even going to lie. So I can sort these two googies out, but like Heon is now left to cry in his room. Also, his diaper is full as well. He's just not having a good time. He does have a little chicken stir fry in his inventory though. Oh, is that is that all gone? Okay, that's all gone. He does have milk, but it's spoiled. He has nothing. Why my child has absolutely nothing. And oh my gosh, Aruna, why are you stealing all the wolf toys? They're not just for you, they're for everyone. Don't be hiding these in your inventory. Okay, you've got the most energy rain. And also you know about Lycaon's little little secret, which Luna does not yet. So why don't you go ahead and cook him some breakfast? You did say you were going to do this on the sly. So I need you to improve these abilities. These hiding my child is not as feral as I wanted abilities. I need you to realize at some point someone's going to have to clean this toilet. You can't keep doing this. This is really gross behavior absolutely terrible okay we gotta get him some food fast or else he's gonna get taken away and he's gonna go do some wrecking as well so yeah you've got to really get your skates on rain okay we're doing all this fancy stuff you know how to cook because your mother which is great because i get the feeling that luna does not know how to cook because she was raised a wolf so let's go ahead and grab him a little serving there you go kiddo and let's do some toilet training because it's really gross that they constantly have gross diapers so there we go three hours after his sisters he can find Finally knuckle down and have himself some food. I think it's ironic that he has like the werewolf eyes. He has Luna's werewolf eyes. And he's the only one who's actually not a wolfine at all. Not a wolfine at all. Okay, let's hide all of this in here. And whilst Rain is on daddy bear duty, I'm going to put you on cleaning duty, I'm afraid. I know you hate cleaning, but the house is really gross. Like it's grim and we actually have money now. So I feel like we should... I don't know a house should be nicer. There's absolutely no logic to that whatsoever, but we're going to be doing some renovations. We're going to be doing some extensions. So we need a clean space so we can work out what we're doing, you know? Before I age toddlers up, I like to try and get them like some skills in the bag just so that it looks like I tried to parent them a little bit. Okay, so how's everyone doing? Aruna is five and five in communication and imagination. I kind of like see her as being like very social, happy, jolly, artsy kind of vibes. So these two being top for her is really really good no potty and no thinking though so maybe we need to work on those a little bit why don't we potty train aruna next like aeon our little secret wolf is good at communication and good at movement and also fairly good at thinking as well he has a bit more of a broader skill set he's a little bit more well-rounded and then artemis our little leader is definitely probably got the most skills overall well-roundedness communication is almost max imagination is almost four Movement is good, potty training is almost there, and thinking as well. But I would say, like Heon is our strongest thinker. Aruna is our uh, least strongest thinker. And Artemis is somewhere in the middle. So yeah, this is kind of, again, all fit in the personalities as well, which I like. <gasps> Stronger than I thought from accidentally breaking something. Wait, what did you break? She's ax- Oh my gosh, you've accidentally broken the sink. Oh jeez, please repair that. I didn't know werewolves did that. That's so cool. I love that. And she's also still on probation from the wild fangs for not expanding and exploring enough. So whilst I usually send rain down the little holes and like mines and stuff, I'm gonna have to send Luna today. We're trying to get to the top of the wild fangs pack, literally just so that we can then tear it down. So I'm going to go ahead and continue with that as Luna's side mission. Her primary role is obviously the family and all of that. She hates handing us so much, but that's her side mission. Oh, and are you bathing them on your own without even being asked? Oh, you're so cute, Rain. Even if you asked her because it will forever. Very cute behaviors. He's such a good dad. Who would have thought? 
Rain would literally be the best parent of all of the kids. He's literally so good. He is so good. I love it. And I've worked out quite a good toddler strategy. <laughs> It's kind of a mean one, but if you only ever have one toddler awake at any one time, it's so much easier. So I am going to do that. Why make life hard, you know? Oh, and Luna's out and about rampaging. She was meant to be exploring the tunnels and farting as well. But all of this exploring is good because now her expand and explore is really high. So I just need to like increase this from Delta in order to be able to take them over. I'm going to see if I can get her to regain control because she uh, she sometimes can't. It's about 60% of the time she's able to. Has it worked today? It has. Okay, amazing. There we go. It's because I made her do handiness and she just really, really hated that. Go mark your territory then. What you like? She's got that desperate urge to mark. There you go. Oh, it's so gross. I hate it. I hate it so much. But yeah, now she's in better stead with the wild fangs. I am going to get her to drop off. She she found a bunch of stuff in the tunnels. She got a fossilized egg, which I thought was pretty cool. Garlic, which is interesting. Some bubbles, electronic upgrade part, basically some bits. Oh, we got two of these as well. Two of these little pots. So I'll be able to dump one at the um, wild fangs. Try and get this up and then take down the pack from the inside the ultimate plan rain's having a little sleep on the floor i still need her for his like lifetime aspiration as a lone wolf get him to unleash the beast uh, <laughs> unleash the beast a bunch of times so when he's home alone and he's like missing luna and he wants to get that like uh frustration out he just like scratches all the chairs but now that we have twelve thousand euros i can just fix them straight afterwards so like it's like Oh, it's stupid chairs. I hate you so much. Scratchy, scratchy all the chairs. And then I can just repair them for like eight simoleons. Eight dollars, eight pounds, eight euros. It changes every time I do it. But it's like a good way to get this up. A good way for him to get some frustrations out. But also it doesn't really cost me that much money. So yeah, it's kind of nice. I don't actually think Luna would mind the scratches either because she's a slob sim, so she kind of digs it. So like, I've actually gone and completed this part. Oh, do we still need to pay bills? Oh my gosh, we do. Let's pay bills as well. Yeah, pay we go, pay the bills. <gasps> Unleash the beast is done. I still need to spar with some werewolves. And I was thinking, didn't Luna get like a call from Lou being like, should we go on a date? I feel like Rain would be like, you can go on a date with my fists. You can go on a date with my claws. Where are you right now? Having a little socially anxious time. Oh my gosh, bless you. Luna's just having a tough few episodes, right? She's even getting hot haunted now by Carlton Moore. This would terrify. Imagine walking home, not knowing that was behind your shoulder. Actually horrifying scenes. But she's home. All she wants to do is hug her little toddlers. But they are all sleeping. They're probably going to be up fairly soon. So I would enjoy enjoy the time while you come, babes. Go and have yourself a nice relaxing bath, okay? And let Rain go do some hunting because he's been trapped inside all day. And look, I told you. I told you to enjoy the time while you could. Because now look, Artemis is up and Artemis is stinky. So we got to do it. Get you out the bath. And oh I, can oh, I forgot I can teach her to howl. That's so freaking cute. Get you out the bath and put the child in the bath. No time for bathing when you're a mom. Oh my gosh, you came back with one meal. Those are rookie numbers. We need to get those numbers up. You gotta do better than that, okay? God bless her. She's absolutely shattered. I love how terrible these kids' sleeping patterns are. They are very nocturnal, very wolf-like, so it's actually all great. Before I send Luna to bed, I'm gonna get her just to do a little bit of howl teaching because, you know, it's important to her that she raises wolves that understand what they are. They respect wolf customs. And most of all, they are proud and excited for themselves to being a wolf as well. So we've got to do a little bit of wolf training. Artemis was the first wolfine of our children to howl. So she's doing a really good job. We've got Aruna over here howling too. In fact, the only wolf that hasn't shown an interest in howling is, of course, little like Aeon. Little like Aeon, who's hungry again. Rain has come back. And also because we didn't pay the bills. Oh, Rain is also enraged. Great. Because we didn't pay the bills, there's also no foodies for like Aeon because the fridge was not working. So not great. Whenever Rain is rampaging and I'm in control of him, I just get him to sniff and then i just uh dig and it's a good little money maker genuinely it's not a bad it's not a bad way to spend being enraged oh and he also just weed in your bedroom okay nice love it when dad wees on the floor oh and look she's she's panicking about money even though we actually have it now she's panicking bills are piling up and it seems like there's never enough to go around try making a budget to combat the stress can I actually tell her to do that? I don't know how to do it, but that would be cool if I could. And they've put me on notice again? 
for not self-improving at this point this is bullying like they are just straight up bullying me there is no doubt about it in my mind i am being victimized i am being bullied and look she had to give him some milk she's like well i'm not giving you cooked food that's so freaking gross like hey on but you can have some milk i guess and now she's stressed about these bloody wild fangs again. They are doing my absolute head in. <gasps> oh, you're human again. Yay. Oh my gosh, I missed that pretty face rain. But now it's back. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Who's stolen all the toys again? Kids, you've got to stop stealing the toys. They're to share. Please stop putting them in your inventory and just play with them when you need them. It's always you. You are such a little toy stealer, Aruna. What? And Artemis, why do you smell so bad? Your hygiene's not that bad, but you're just kind of covered in a layer of stink. It's very supernatural looking. You kind of look like a little bit Frankensteinish right now. I don't know if it's because you're getting ready to like age up, if there's like a certain wealthy musk about you or what, but yeah, something's going on. Luna, half an hour late for work, babes. Chop, chop. Into work. Off you go. Good job. And then your fun is low. So when you get home, I feel like she doesn't get enough time to spend with her babies. So we're going to do like lots of socializing and lots of playing with the babies. Okay. Oh, level nine parenting rain. Good job. And also realizing parenting ain't so fun, is it? It's actually a lot of cleaning up, a lot of bathing, a lot of wiping away poop. Kind of revving myself up, aren't I? Oh, and before mom gets home, let's do some secret foodies for like Aeon as well. And more bills. Oh gosh. Lots of bills. So many bills to pay. No wonder Luna's stressed. I need to hunt, but Luna's at work for another half an hour. But I really need to hunt. Otherwise, they're like, yo, we'll take away your baby werewolves. But also, I can't just invite a daycare person around and like them notice everything. And I can't send them to daycare. So it's kind of like I just have to wait it out. I just have to really hope that I can hunt before they get taken away. Okay, secret eggs and scramble for you, like Aeon. I wonder how long until I can take the kids hunting. That would be kind of cute. Luna's getting a bit of chance to play, finally. Please do a good hunt. Because sometimes you come home with one and I'm like, what well, were the deer? Were they busy? Could you not find them? Like, what's going on? on three okay three four because you got one in your hand respectful respectful amount of meat well done good job okay three sleeping wolfies and one luna that oh and almost birthdays one luna that's supposed to be working on self-improvement so rain who's level 10 fitness has come outside to give her some tips on her boxing do you remember how feebly she used to box i actually think now like she looks so tough but she's not and she like acts so relaxed and childish but she's actually a ball of anxiety oh my gosh wow okay she's actually like a ball of anxiety i love how like her outward appearance is actually completely different to what's going on on the inside and you can't be flirting when you're so okay now you're itching when you're supposed to be being mentored that's good self-improvement right okay brilliant they're back being friends with me again i actually hate how passive aggressive they are it winds me up to no end uh, she wants a nap after all that boxing and i'm gonna allow that now that we're gone range oh but to be honest though now he now his look fierce his look real fierce now one of the reasons he's training is because he wants to try and defeat greg in a werewolf brawl but of course he's not really had that much experience with werewolf brawls he's only ever done three but i do want to brawl this person that's like what's he called who's into luna lou lou needs a good punch <laughs> that's what i'm thinking that's the vibe i'm getting from lou so i'm gonna go and have a little spa with him. I can't find my way around this neighborhood still after all this time. There we go. I don't know if we stand much of a chance, but we're going to do some punching all the same. So after we've got all warmed up with our commando training, like pow, pow, pow. Let's go do some punching. This isn't Lou. I don't think this is Rory, who awkwardly he has a massive crush on. Maybe I just beat out my crush as well. Maybe that's one of the ways that I get over. You know, they're like, oh, the way to get over someone is to like get under someone. No, the way to get over someone is just to beat them up with your claws. That's what I think. I think a good fight, a good fight is what you need to get some feelings out your system. So let's go do a werewolf spa. We'll do a werewolf spa with uh, Rory. But then with Lou, we're just gonna, oh, who is this? Is this Lou? Oh my gosh, Lou's looking fierce today. <laughs> Why does he look so strong today? Okay, Rain. With Lou, I'm gonna do it the ang angy way. Rory will have no idea that we're being trained to beat up their pack mates. <laughs> It's the perfect plan. Literally, while Luna's sleeping, this is why Rain has to stay at home and look after the wolflings. Because when he's allowed out on his own, this nonsense is what happens. So let's do, I'm going to do two practice spars. I feel like that's enough to make sure that I've got a bit more sparring, a bit of a better sparring record. I don't think he's won one yet, so... Lou's checking out who he might have to fight. What are you thinking, Lou? Rain, Rain looks like a meaner wolf, but he is also a kind of fresh wolf. Oh, he's getting straight back in there. Oh, this is looking good. 
Looking strong. Oh, stroke slumming. Oh, look at that. Okay. No, that's a loss, I think. Yeah, I think he's still not really winning his spas, is he? And why does this person keep asking me if I want to just try for the baby? I don't care. Stop asking my opinion on your life. Okay, now that I've got some spas out the way, let's go ahead and see if we can do... Let's do some snarling. This is how werewolves are. They're not all... It's less of an argument and more you've got to be a bit fierce with it. You've got to be kind of like, you are a feeble wolf. Although he's not. Like, my boy is actually looking pretty thick. Oh, jeez. <gasps> that, oh, that was intimidating. Oh, I mean, he is after your woman, though. Don't feel bad about this. Do not feel bad about this one bit. Oh, he just farted him as well. I, I hate that the slob sims fart so much. It's actually so gross. Look at the snarl, though. This would terrify me. Look at that. <gasps> and I can do it. I can have a werewolf brawl. Okay, I kind of want to do it. Though, oh, look at me giving him a shove. Look at his slow turn. Like, did you actually just do that? I want to bar with him like you know that it will brawl with him at that werewolfy kind of place because i don't think i've ever done that before plus i don't want to be too close to the house because the last thing you want your kids to see as they age up is the father getting the life beaten out of him like i don't feel like that's very cool to watch look at look at the angry walking <laughs> oh my gosh money 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 give me now under what conditions under conditions that i guess yes there you go, Luna. Stop stressing about money, babes. I've got it all sorted. But look at this. Oh, I'm gonna beat you up. Not if I beat you up first. They'll be like slowly arguing the whole way there because it's such a long walk and they walk so slowly. Like he's even got time to trash talk him on social media. Like look at that. You don't even realize. You don't even got notifications switched on. You have no idea what's going down on Twitter. Okay, now here we are. The scene of the fight. Look at the mist in the air. It's so atmospheric. Rain's still actually just talking absolute trash about him on, on Twitter. He has no idea. And I I think it's time for a werewolf brawl, don't you guys? It's the perfect environment. I genuinely think Rain's gonna get his ass beat, but we shall see. The moon is coming up. It's only a Slytherin moon. <gasps> oh, it has music. Oh, look at him go. Fighting under the moon. It's not a full moon, so no one's getting additional werewolf powers. We're all very much just at, oh, <gasps> oh, that was a good, that was a, I was like under his chin, wasn't it? <gasps> oh, Rain, come on, babes. You're fighting for, you're fighting for Luna's honor here. If you can't beat Lou, how are you going to be able to beat... Oh, God. Oh, that was good. How are you going to be able to beat Greg? Oh, you did it. Oh, my gosh, you won. Oh, my gosh. Look how snarly you are right now. Look at all the saliva. We now despise each other, but triumphant. Look at all the little plasters on it. Wait, how does Lou look? Where's Lou? I want to see how he looks. Wait, no. Look at this. Ooh. Oh, werewolf fights are brutal. He ain't looking so good. It's nice them to put little plasters on each other, though, because I don't think they're reaching that part of their butt by themselves. And Rain, that tied him out. That tied him all out. Either that or he doesn't want Luna to see that he's covered in scratches and bites. But we did it. We actually went ahead and won our first werewolf brawl. We got it in us. First stop, Lou. Next stop, Greg. And Lou is furious. Just a sight of rain gets on Lou's nerves these days. How dare rain show his face. Oh, I love her. Meanwhile, look at us all just being like, ah, we sleep sleeping soundly on 15 grand oh this is lovely everything's right in the world no it's not which toddler ruined the calm okay it was you it was you aruna where you are go take a feral poo for yourself and here's some feral meat oh and the whole thing's inspired him to make some beautiful music as well oh that's fighting music i mean how are you gonna win against that arm look how thick it is that arm is thick it's like my whole torso how are you going to win against someone throwing torsos at you? You won't. You can't. Oh, and look what's happening at home now. <laughs> Everyone's having a dance. I love that. That's so cute. Boogie times at home. Ooh. And this ain't good. He's transformed and is enraged. And I didn't get to finish cooking my eggs to give to my non-wolf child. It is their birthday though. So why don't you go and like deal with being a werewolf? Maybe I can just get Luna to come home and age them up. And then child social services will never know. Oh, and Luna's home. How long has it been? Luna can't help but wonder if this is the right career for her. One thing for sure is there needs to be some kind of change, right? She doesn't want to do this job anymore. In fact, it's giving her looming anxiety from her dead end job. 
Oh no, that's not good. I mean, I'm starting to earn fairly good money. I get $50 an hour now and I don't have to do that many hours, but it's really stressing her out. She's not enjoying her job anymore. What new job should I give her? What is a good job for a werewolf? It's, she's probably like, why on earth is this on the cooker? Give me some ideas, guys. Oh, she also wants to be... Who is that? I know that's Vlad, but... Oh, no, Vlad does look like in this save. He does look like that in this save. She wants to be disliked by Vlad. She started, like, she went in the mines and learned a bit, a little bit about vampires. And now she really hates them and she wants to be disliked by them. Kind of will be very awkward if her pursuing and finding Vlad ends up being what causes her own son to turn into a vampire, right? Right? That would be a delicious taste of irony. On oh, luck, she's brought home meat for Artemis, but poor little hungry boy over here still has not eaten a thing. <gasps> And the cake is here. It has an iPod in it. I don't know why, but it does. Let's add some birthday candles. And we can do now, I believe, with my new mod, like a triple birthday. So I think I can age up like all three in one go. I'm clicking Artemis. In fact, if I was doing it in age order, it would go one, two, three. I think that's the way it would go. I think it was goes Artemis, Lycaon, and Aruna. Aruna's the youngest, I think. I think that's the case. I didn't expect triples, so, so I don't know. And I think it will call them all in here. No, they're going in here. And they should all be about to like age up at the exact same time. Okay, Artemis went first. She got motor two, social two, mental one, creativity two. So she's like the leader of the pack. I like the idea that she's like the tough one. So I'm going to give her the motor skills. She's got some of Rain's like strength, you know? She was a fussy toddler. Like she liked all the attention. She liked everything being on her. Like she's the little leader. So I'm going to make her like the self-assured one. Like she's the, she's the one in charge, you know? So she's gone ahead and aged up first. Next is like Heon. He was an inquisitive child. He's aged up with two in everything. So his mental was better. So I'm going to give him the mental focus. And I don't know whether to give him the loner trait. Because he... I think his dad had that. No, no, I don't think Rain did. Or did he? I kind of get the feeling that, like, he is going to start struggling to connect with his sisters because they'll have this whole wolf thing to go through and he won't have it. Or maybe I'll make him a bookworm and he channels it into, like, reading a lot and that's where he starts learning about vampires that could be a good one for him and then finally we've also got little aruna as well huzzah she had the silly trait she's got one motor two creativity one mental one social so hers are a little bit lower but i think i'm gonna make her she had creativity too didn't she i don't know if it's a good for social or creative I feel like she's like really chatty. She's like a little social butterfly, isn't she? And I'm going to replace silly with cheerful because I feel like that makes sense. Okay, so now that they are all aged up, they don't yet have this wolfy part here. Like it doesn't look like their parents. They still kind of look like a regular sim. But if I try and interact with two of the wolfies... I can still be teaching them to howl. Oh, Bowen sent a gift. So it doesn't look like they get any new additional stuff for being a child, but maybe we'll discover more as we go along. They've also all... Oh, because they're so angry. They've aged up in foul moods. Right, let's go ahead and check them out in cast. And we'll put on the same CC as they had as children. Okay, so this was Artemis as a child. And then here she is as a kid. What's kind of cool is she's aged up with like a sneer, like a snarl. Like one of her lips is kind of like... Ugh. Like that kind of doing this sort of cool thing, which I didn't do to her. Like it's just her lip has just done that. And I've never had a sim that's done that before. And I kind of love her. I don't know if there's any clothes in the werewolves pack for kids. Oh, there are a few bits. Okay. I don't know if either of them really like suit her though. Like I can imagine this on Aruna, but less so on her. Like I do wish they'd given us a few more options really, but I kind of just see her in like maybe some like dungarees. Like this kind of look seems to suit her. So that's little Artemis. Okay, so this was like Heon as a child. And then this was him as a kid. Like somebody took his chin. I don't know who took it. I don't know what they mean to do with it, but somebody straight up just told, stole his chin away from us. So he does not have that any longer, I'm afraid. But I will give him like the little werewolf rig out because I kind of feel like he would wear it. Like he's just giving me this kind of energy. I don't know why, but he just is. Also, I've changed the teeth on Artemis, but I obviously won't be changing them on like Aeon because he's not a wolfie. And then we've also got... Okay, and then he was a runa as a child, a toddler. And then she's got the lip thing too. Is it like a toddler thing? Is this what like... Sorry, a werewolf thing? Is this what happens to werewolves when they age up? Because the only person that doesn't have it is like Aeon. And he's the only one that's not a werewolf. So 
I'm kind of super confused at this point as to why both of my girls have aged up like that. Like, where has that come from? What? Is this like a known bug? Have any of you guys come across this too? Please let me know in the comments below because I'm really confused. But here are all my kids in their child form. So Aruna and Artemis both have like the wolf thing, like above their traits and stuff. So they're both definitely wolfy. And Lycaon does not. He has nothing above his. So he could be a good one for like doing as a vampire. Whereas these two definitely are wolfy. But they're also very like sneery as well. Like literally when I smile, one side, one side of my lip pulls up further. And that's kind of what they have. That's kind of what they look like. I don't know. But let me know what you guys think of their childhood appearances in the comments below. Do any of you guys have a favorite so far? Let me know in the comments below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and show it with some love. Don't forget to check out that HelloFresh link in the description below. And I will see you guys in another video. Bye.